There's a good reason people are so excited about Acromancia mucinophila, and it's not just because this friendly bacteria is endorsed by a movie star. It's because Acromancia is so good at healing and sealing gut hyperpermeability, also known as leaky gut. Keep watching to discover how this novel bug can help you lose fat, banish metabolic syndrome, reduce gut inflammation, decrease food sensitivities, and prevent chronic disease. If you're watching this video, you might know a little bit about the gut microbiome, but our friend, Acromancia mucinophila, might be new to you. So before we dive into the long list of health benefits that come from nurturing healthy Acromancia in your digestive tract, let's get on the same page about what it is and what makes it special. Acromancia is a member of your microbiome, the three to four pounds of microbes that live in and on your body representing over 500 unique species or strains. In healthy people, acromancia accounts for up to 4% of intestinal bacteria, but every person's microbiome is different. About one third of the gut microbiome is consistent among adults, while the other two thirds are unique to each of us, based on things like environmental exposures, dietary patterns, physical activity, health conditions, and medications taken, especially antibiotics. The most important thing to understand about the microbiome is that it plays a crucial life-sustaining role in your survival as a human. You could not live without your microbiome. It talks to your immune system, your brain, your liver, your lungs, and other body systems, keeping things balanced and functional by partnering with your own cells. And Acromancia mucinophila plays an oversized role in hundreds of processes associated with health and longevity. We call Acromancia a keystone strain because its impact is both foundational and wide-reaching. This friendly bacteria is special because it lives in, feeds on, and helps regulate the mucus layer that sits on top of your intestinal cells. It's right there in the name, mucinophila. So you're not going to find this bug in your yogurt, sauerkraut, or kombucha because it doesn't feed on glucose. It's also anaerobic, meaning it dies in the presence of oxygen. Again, one of the things that makes acromancia uniquely suited to its role in the gut. Inflammation in the gut also kills acromancia, which is why researchers find lower levels of this bug in folks with colitis and why folks who eat diets high in processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats also have lower levels. Another feature that makes it so unique involves a protein that is expressed on the surface of acromancia called AMUC 1100. This protein signals for toll-like receptors, occludin and cloudin, to improve intestinal barrier function. I know it's a lot of high-level science to fling at you, but here's the important thing for you to remember. Acromancia heals and seals leaky gut. What is leaky gut? Let me explain. The cells that form the inside of your intestinal wall are all lined up side to side, creating a barrier between the outside world of your digestive tract and the inside of your body, which is your bloodstream in this case. Structures called tight junctions, which are made up of complex regulatory proteins, help maintain this barrier, and they are hugely influenced by acromancia via that AMUC 1100 protein that signals to occludin and cloudin. This barrier is super important for keeping the right things out and letting the right things in. For example, it selectively allows water and nutrients from food to pass through the barrier while blocking potential invaders like unfriendly microbes, as well as endotoxins produced by those bacteria. But more often than we'd like, the connection between the cells is disrupted or broken, creating what you might think of as little leaks in that barrier where things can get into the bloodstream that don't belong there. This results in both direct inflammation from whatever toxic or inflammatory particle that's sneaking through and indirect inflammation from the activation of the immune system. Leaky gut is at the root of autoimmune diseases, allergies and sensitivities, metabolic syndrome and blood sugar imbalances like type 2 diabetes, fat gain and obesity, heart disease, and plenty more chronic diseases. One of the ways we know that acromancia helps heal leaky gut is by measuring lipopolysaccharides, or LPS, 
in the blood. LPS is an endotoxic inflammatory component of bacteria in the gut that gets into the bloodstream if you have leaky gut. When LPS levels rise in the blood, it can cause anxiety, depression, and cognitive effects like brain fog, poor memory, and loss of focus. Research shows that acromancia can reduce LPS levels in the blood, which both helps resolve symptoms and demonstrates a sealed up gut barrier. Can you see why having healthy levels of acromancia in your gut is a big deal for many aspects of your health? In mouse studies, acromancia helped repair inflammatory colitis and resulted in weight loss despite a high fat diet. Acromancia also improved insulin signaling as well as depression and anxiety behaviors in type 1 diabetic mice. In human studies, acromancia reduced anxiety and IBS symptoms over the course of a 12-week intervention period. It also decreased cholesterol and body weight while increasing insulin sensitivity, which means it helps reduce type 2 diabetes. A recently published human trial found that supplementation with acromancia decreased body weight by an average of 5 pounds and decreased hip circumference by an average of 1 inch. And these folks were specifically asked not to change their diet or exercise during the three months of the study. It's all the power of the microbiome. Unfortunately, maintaining a happy, acromancia-rich microbiome is not an easy task, starting from a young age. A study done by the Mayo Clinic showed that kids under the age of two years old who were on antibiotics were significantly more prone to obesity, type 2 diabetes, celiac disease, allergies, and ADHD. And there are many other factors in our daily life that significantly harm acromancia and the microbiome as a whole, including constant exposure to pesticides like glyphosate, ultra-processed foods and food additives, and a lack of prebiotic fiber and antioxidants from whole real foods. You can test for the presence of acromancia in your gut using advanced functional stool analysis. But because acromancia lives in the mucus layer, stool testing doesn't fully represent how much or how active it is in the gut. That said, if you find low levels of acromancia on a functional stool test, chances are good that you need more support for this crucial microbe. The good news is that thanks to the hard work of incredible scientists and researchers over the past decade, we now have tools to improve not only our overall microbiome, but specifically the benefits of acromancia. And not just because it will help you lose fat, resolve IBS or IBD symptoms, or reduce your food allergies, but because of how important your microbiome is for preventing and treating chronic diseases like diabetes, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, dementia, cardiovascular disease, and neurological diseases like multiple sclerosis. Unlike other strains of probiotics that are found in fermented food or supplements, acromancy is difficult to grow and encapsulate. Thankfully, those super smart biochemists have finally cracked the code to bring us effective, clinically proven probiotic and postbiotic forms of Acromancia mucinophila. You can find my suggested version of this special bacteria in my free Functional Fat Loss Trio user guide. I'll put a link in the video description so you can grab it. An important note about taking supplemental Acromancia has to do with something called the Herxheimer reaction. When you regenerate the good bacteria in your gut, they will crowd out and kill the bad guys. When this happens, LPS gets released into the gut and soaked up by your cells. This can cause a temporary die-off reaction involving symptoms like heartburn, constipation, diarrhea, bloating, or gas for a few days. It doesn't always happen right away, and it shouldn't last for weeks and weeks, so don't let it scare you off. If you stop the supplement and the symptom goes away, you'll know it's likely a Herxheimer reaction, and you can typically push through. I think that about covers the essentials about Acromancia mucinophila, but I'll be keeping my eye on this beneficial bacteria. I have a sense that we're only just beginning to uncover its benefits. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful in your quest for health and well-being. If you did happen to like it, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out the video description for more specifics on where you can get those cutting edge acromancia supplements for yourself. I've got another video all queued up for you 
about the connection between leaky gut and thyroid. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.